Welcome back everybody to episode 4 of Final Fantasy Tactics, where we are going to make our way to Igros Castle. All I did in the off screen um, was just uh, customize, guy, customize my guys a little bit. I took Algus, he has a long sword and a battle boots pair. I just put him onto uh, some of my other characters. I really don't care about him too much. He's only in a couple more battles. Um, and, uh, you know, I just really don't like him. With the first troops, proud to be your brother. Oh, thank you. Dice Darg. Stupid name. <clears throat> so we're talking about the Marquis, who was kidnapped. Dice Darg had our brother Zalbag go out and uh, try to try to reason with them in some way and figure it out. Algus wants a hundred soldiers. <laughs> yeah, I was just just gonna give them to you just like that. And uh, he's having none of it. Yep. If you're just a squire, you basically can't do anything. Not in this world. So they're basically saying Igros Castle's safe, so hang out here. Don't do anything else. So we're just gonna hang out here. Game's over. Nothing else really to do. Nah. My family was once respected like the Bills, but uh, not anymore. My father was captured during the 50 year war, sold his friends out to the enemy to save himself. So he's a jerk just like you. Kid has a question about teleport. Uh, that's an ability that's going to come later in the game. It's okay. Uh, it's kind of annoying because teleport is going to show me any square I can move to. But if my move is not that big, I'm not going to be able to just teleport to the other side of the, the map. It is cool because you get to go around obstacles. But uh, for myself, I'm not really a huge fan of using the ability. So yeah, feel free to join the stream. Um, the stream is where I'm going to be doing all of these playthroughs. Next time you join a stream or see this episode on YouTube, I may be five episodes ahead, who knows? But jump on in anytime. I'm gonna try to answer any questions I can about the game live, which is always a nice aspect of streams. But we learned a little bit about Al Algus here. Rank is an annoying part of this world, but it is a common fact. Alma, Zalbag, and Teta. <clears throat> Teta is Delita's sister. Alma is Ramza's sister, and Zalbag is Ramza's brother. Look at the great animations of those waterfalls. <laughs> so they're all proud of us for beating those thieves. They didn't really hear about our battle finding Algus, but that was a closer battle, I think. Even though I did have somebody die in the thieves battle. <laughs> Everyone's so nice to me. Huh. I don't need your prayers. Uh-oh. The Death Corps who have uh, abducted the Marquis want a ransom for him. We're gonna go to Dorder, which is to the right of uh, the magic city we started in. <laughs> Guarding a castle is boring, which is why we wouldn't have a game if we were just, you know, protecting the castle the whole time. So we're gonna make our way to uh, to Dorder, which is where Zalbag just gave us a hint to. So it looks like he's on our side. He doesn't really want us to hang back, but Dice Darg uh, wants us to just stay here and do nothing. <clears throat> Definitely reasons why Dice Dark would do that. <clears throat> so this just gives us a little bit of more depth to the characters, which is nice. There's really no need for us to know about how Tata's schooling is going. 
But I like that they include things like this. Things about rank, it just puts more depth to the story. It's not just battles. <clears throat> you sound like our mother. Ha ha ha. Oh, Ramsa. So you're going to have these cutscenes uh, periodically. It's not going to be every town that you go to, but since there was no battle here at Igros, they did a little bit of a longer cutscene, I can say. If you want to call it a cutscene. So we can see the right opening up a little bit. And if I go back here, I'm going to save first. We can check out the castle here. Uh, we can go to the bar and kind of like talk to the... Uh, bar owners see what rumors are going on. So basically you learn a little bit more about the story when you visit towns, even without cutscenes. It's kind of like how you would go to a town uh, and talk to people in the town, in like Final Fantasy 7 or another one. But here you only talk to the bar owner, and he just tells you rumors as if you're talking to those uh, townspeople. So there's a lot of trouble with the from the Hokuten by the Death Corps. And then, then we can learn a little bit about King, uh, what was his name? King Amdoria. Great concern over this king. He collapsed at Prince Oranus' birthday. Board of Chamberlains reported his fever has subsided. Take three weeks to recover. So the king right now is uh, not feeling so good. He may not be able to make any public appearances. All right. So we never actually see this king. We only really hear about him. <clears throat> and then this war, the 50-year war, uh, my father was just talking about this. He said that the war is finally over. So it was ignited. There's a little bit of history, which is cool. Uh, King Duwanu died without naming a successor, so they started fighting about uh, who was going to be the king, and then there was a war. But it says the real reason was because of Zelimonia territory running along uh, the Ordalia border. Annexed over a century ago with an invasion. So Ivalis, our area, supported Ordalia, but the result was failure. So it's like, we get we see a lot of the aftermath of this war, but we don't actually see any of the war. So it's really cool that they include that, like the backstory. It's like you got a whole history going on here. Victories in the early battle, Ivalis' army marched on the capital of Burra, but King Denamunda fell ill. It's never to return to his kingdom. So it looks like our, our army was able to win. Two year stalemate going on. A bubonic plague. There's a whole lot of stuff going on here. Just like with any war, you're going to have a disease really play a big factor. That's why uh, more deaths in the Civil War in American history were because of disease and people dying from their wounds than it was from actual battles. Two squads most effective in the war were the Hokuten, led by Balbanes, Balbanes is my dad, and the Nanten, led by TG Sid. There's always a Sid in every Final Fantasy that stands for Thunder God Sid. He's a badass. <clears throat> they started winning. It was disastrous for both admins. So farmers had revolts because, uh, they probably were having battles over their soil. They couldn't really do their job. So Denamunda's successor, Omdolia, is not fit to lead. That's generally going to happen. Uh, it ultimately resulted in a stalemate. And they just said, let's have peace. Willis surrendered soon after the economy was on the brink of bankruptcy. Payments could not be made to returning soldiers. A large group of knights were discharged. So this is basically a lot of the thieves may have just fought in this battle. And afterwards, they really didn't have any, uh, you know, they're basically just kicked out. So because of that, a lot of people are starting the rebellions that we're seeing now. So we can go to uh, buy some things if we like. We can. A cool thing about this is you can go to the fitting room and see how um, my stats will change if I bought some of these things. You can kind of see like what exactly I can equip. 
Like, I can't actually put on this, uh, this shield here because a squire can't hold a shield. So I can see what, um, what I can wear, what I can't. I can kind of see who I'd like to improve. I may want to give some battle boots to these guys just so they can uh, have a little bit more move. I don't have any weapons I can give her here. There's not always that many staffs at uh, places like this. The castles generally have more knights armor. And then if I go back, it's going to add up everything that I purchased, which was two battle boots. And uh, yeah, we're going to buy them. But then uh, we're going to save and go down to Mandalia Plains, where we could have a battle. And we do. So this is how random battles work in this game. <clears throat> and uh, we should not have Delita, I don't think. I believe he's only going to come around sometimes. We'll put Randolph in. And then we're going to go. So we're probably going to fight a bunch of chocobos, maybe some goblins. Um, I'm going to try to save some MP so that my mages can do a little bit more offensive damage. <clears throat> I think from here on out, I probably will skip over lots of random battles uh, in the videos that I upload to YouTube. Occasionally, I mean, it depends on what happens in the battle. But I may just skip over them kind of keep the plot. But this way you guys can see exactly what goes on in a random battle. What types of enemies we fight here. Two goblins and yeah, there's really not going to be too much to learn from this, this battle. Just going to make our moves Randall's is the only one that can really get experience here because he's going to use his uh, guts ability. He raises his speed, and you get experience for it too. Plus uh, job points. So, which will help make up for the fact that he didn't get anything in the last battle. So we're just going to move up, move up, wait, let them do their moves, and move closer. These guys don't have any range attacks. There's really not too much to fear here. But we're gonna move in. We have a uh, five move now. And they all have counters like I mentioned earlier. Which can be strong. Depending on how quick this attack is. Oh, it's strong enough. Should be able to finish off this guy here. And just to get some experience, I'm going to have her attack. Oh, that's really strong. Why is she so strong? Never mind. I'm going to have her use Protect then. Have him get some experience then. Even though I probably won't use him that much. learn um, accumulate as well because that's going to raise his attack which is he's got a pretty weak attack but goblins are weak against ice so i can definitely take them out pretty quickly sometimes they say something usually like the first time they use that ability that's when they'll start talking he's just running away i don't see any real fears in this battle there's Usually more than three enemies, but right now they've only got only a couple. I'm gonna have him use yell again. And then wait, so his turn will come even quicker. Heal her up, but I'm gonna move. <clears throat> going a little bit slower so that I can actually uh, 
get some points out of this. That's gonna kill him. She seems to be one of my stronger characters, so I'm gonna let her attack. <clears throat> he doesn't counter every time. I'm gonna take out the <clears throat> goblin, and then I imagine Rams is gonna be able to attack, and he'll just finish off the battle. Who is, uh, yep, he's next, so we're gonna finish the battle pretty quickly. Get some uh, money for our, for our troubles. Tender Gill, a little bit of experience, not really too much worth it. That was one random battle. You can train there. It's generally a good idea to do it. Because we've got uh, Dorder Trade City a little bit away. But we're going to go here first and see if there's anything we can buy. Or if there's any rumors. No, they're all the same. So let's see. It's always going to be a little bit different each place that you go. We do have a feather hat, which can help out. It's going to cost 350. Every little bit of HP is going to help, though. Especially if you get... Uh... Mm, I think you can afford a little bit more. Definitely want more HP. That's what I'm going for. <clears throat> 2,000 bucks. Sounds fine to me. I'm gonna go to the Swiggy Woods, where we will have Delita again, along with Algus. <clears throat> so in general, I'm gonna be using my Wizard, Squire, and my Priest. fifth character, um, for a while, many of these battles that are fixed like this, I'm not going to be able to do too much in, to train a fifth character. <clears throat> so I believe that you might, some of the water down there might go above our head, and if it does do that, then we can't actually do any moves. We'll see if we can have an example of that. Delita and Algus usually go first, which means uh, they just do nothing. Move forward and jump into battle. It said uh, it showed depth there. So you can see how it says depth 1. Uh, I wonder if any of these are depth 2. I thought they were. And you see like the 1.52H? Those are all the heights. So depending on how high up you are, certain magic spells, certain attacks, they just won't do as much, uh, as much of a range. And I might not be able to attack if it's too high or too low for the enemy. Just gonna wait around, move up a little bit. Uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be able to work because you can see it's gonna go after it, but just gonna wait. Protect my mage by jumping up in front of me. Let's get everybody get their turn first. Uh, the only person that might attack me is that bomb with like a or the goblin. They have these moves where they can hit multiple enemies. Everybody else is just gonna move up. The reason I didn't want to do an attack was because they're gonna jump next to me. And there's the turn punch move I was talking about. Um, if they're next to me, the magic's then going to hurt myself like I did with Ramza in uh, the previous battle. <clears throat> and the bombs can self-destruct when you get them close to uh, to death there. So when you take them out, you want to be sure to take them out before their turn. Just because it can 
do a lot more damage than it really needs to. One step closer and use uh, yell again. So again, a little bit, just a little bit faster. <clears throat> because everybody waited, I should have enough time to use some magic spells here. And the lead is probably going to attack that bomb from behind, which is going to help. Oh, pretty much killed him. Good job, dude. Now, this battle's not difficult, but the next one is uh, where I basically stop playing the game. Like. 15 years ago. I had to pick it back up later. So that's going to definitely kill him. Do some damage to him. I'm relatively safe here. Just going to wait for another turn and probably dash. Dash my buddy here. Just to get experience. <clears throat> See, I leveled up. Totally worth it. both finish off the uh, these monsters here. And let everybody else just kind of move closer. So, great amount of experience. A lot of times it can depend who the enemies, uh, what their level is, how much experience you get. You can see I'm getting 21 experience, 20. Uh, it's because they're higher levels, they're level 3. If they were level 1, I'd probably get 10, or maybe even less. So that's why if you go fight enemies who are weaker over and over, you're really not going to do too much to them. It's not really going to be beneficial to you to, to do that. You might get like one experience. Every time uh, to level up you have to get 100, as you can see I'm at 70 right now. So three more moves for Ramza should be able to finish everybody. You can see their turn is 7 and 8, so this is definitely going to kill them. They're not going to have a chance to do anything else. If you get some experience, even though this goblin's going to die, I think I'm going to focus on him. Just to get experience. He's going to die to the mage anyway. As you can see, I can't really do much damage there. But I can do this. It's going to hurt my mage, but that's okay. It's all in the name of experience. Remember, this is like a chess game. It doesn't matter if everybody, people die along the way, you can sacrifice your queen for mate, but you just gotta think about, is it worth it in the end? I may hurt my squire, but I'm gonna you know, hurt the mage and be one step closer to my <clears throat> And it kind of lets you see how much some spells do against your own guys as well. Yeah, she died, but she probably won't get another turn before Ramza finishes off this bomb. There you go. Battle done. Relatively uh, quick and easy. The next one is going to be very, very annoying, though. So that was Swiggy Woods, uh, relatively easy. What I'm going to do now is uh, get ready for Dorder. I'm going to do some uh, preparations off screen, and then we'll jump back into the next episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one.